Hey everyone, it's me, Doom Link, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. It is part 20 for my Let's Play, and it is currently the 18th of March 2020 as I'm recording this. Now, rather than go straight into the Temple of the Ocean King, which is of course where we left off, in fact, this yellow portal will take us back to where we were before. And I was actually really glad that this portal was something that was going to appear for us, because it gave me the opportunity to not have to force myself to go all the way through the Temple of the Ocean King in one sitting. So I was able to basically stop where I did stop at the previous recording, or in the previous recording, and now I'm able to pick up where I left off before. But we're not actually going to go straight in. I do have a few things that I wanted to do first and foremost, and yes, I am audio only at the moment. This is the first time that I'm going audio only while live and recording Phantom Hourglass. It's the second time I've done it in a live stream in general, however. So... What we want to do is, well, I was actually looking at what I could do in the meantime, and I realized that actually we can collect 10 power gems and actually use the Spirit of Power as our main fairy to power up our sword. Now, I thought that we had to wait until we got the Phantom Sword to do this. I was actually wrong. We can do it with the regular sword. It's The only um, requirement is that we get 10 of at least one of those gems that we have here and it seems that power gems are the easiest to get at this point as you can see we only have three courage gems and five wisdom gems and i know where we can get another two power gems so we will definitely be doing that it will give our sword more power and that's exactly what we want who would have thought that getting power gems would make us more powerful um or rather using the power of the spirit of power we would get more power yeah let's say power a few more times doom link it's absolutely not getting repetitive or anything now, I'm not actually going in the direction of a power gem right now, but there is a direction that I can go in here that I have yet to go, because we have actually now acquired the bow, and we can hit this eye and continue through here. So I'm going to go and do that. I don't know where this actually leads to. I'm going to guess that it's that island on the side, because I can't remember how else, how else to get there, to be honest with you. This guy can't get me from here, which is very appropriate. God damn it, I missed my opportunity. Excellent. So we'll hit him in the back. Hopefully we can get him in one go. There we... I was going to say go twice. I'm trying to avoid doing that. But anyway. Let us go into this place. Where are we? Are we on that island? No, we're not. As you can see, I mean, it's kind of difficult because I have subscribed to Doom Link written all over it. But on the top map, you can see that I am not in that side island. I did not mean to go in there. Okay, so we need to stand at the top of the stairs and shoot this thing. I'm going to still assume that this is going to take us to that side island in some way or another. Maybe not. Ah, uh, I see. Now, I don't know if there's only one of these or multiple, but I'm guessing we want to point that towards the island. We'll just do that. So we'll hit it. Or maybe it's already going in the right direction, I don't know. Clearly not. So let's move it over here. Again, we're going to point it in the direction of the island. I really don't know if that's what we want to do, but I can't think of what else we could do with this thing. Once again, I don't know if there's more than one of these. I don't remember there even being one of them here, to be honest with you, so I couldn't say for sure if there are any more. But uh, now that we're up here, maybe we can get to something. Aha, uh -huh, there's two chests here, it looks like. So there's a big green rupee, 100 rupees. I actually do need some rupees because I have... I don't want to say misspent them, but I've definitely spent a lot. Oh, here we go. We've got a utility handrail. It doesn't really match our current ship, so we won't use it. But uh, I think we actually have the correct handrail for our ship, or at least the ship that we're trying to build. It's the demon ship. And, uh, yeah, so I'm not really interested in that handrail. But it's nice to go and collect those pieces. Again, I have no intention of actually doing 100% of this because I have so many games that I want to play, so... I really don't think I'll do 100% with it. I will do 100% for Majora's Mask because I'm absolutely in love with that game, but for this, I'm just going to not do 100%. Maybe I could later, when I have time, like I can return to the Let's Play and do it 100%. Like, for example, with Let's Play Twilight Princess on the GameCube, which I started in 2015, I did actually return to it like two years after finishing it, just so that I could finish off what I needed to do with the... Um, shit, I need to go... Is shut... What do you want? You there, boy in green. Anyway, what I was going to say was that I had actually done 100% in Twilight Princess, except for my fishing journal. 
And so I returned like two years later to finish that fishing journal pretty much. And then I, at that point, declared the Let's Play complete. I didn't read what that guy had to say, but whatever. I don't think it was anything important. At least I hope it wasn't. Now, I'm not really paying attention to what I'm supposed to be doing here, obviously. I was sort of gravitating towards the Temple of the Ocean King because I guess subconsciously I want to go there. I don't know why. I would like to actually complete my journey there, but for now, I... Oh, what the hell do you want? This guy is really creepy. Look at his bulging round eyes. There's something really off-putting about that. If I had to look at this guy in real life, I can tell you right now I wouldn't be looking at him for very long. I'd be turning around and running. And I certainly wouldn't be talking to him, for God's sake. Sorry for being so loud. It's not so much the loudness, it's more your face that's bothering me at the moment. I thought you were going to walk right on by, so I got a little too excited. Anyway, have you heard about the Chief of the Frogs? No. You're likely to encounter many golden frogs swimming in the sea, but one of them reigns supreme, a giant golden frog that rides on the wind. Is his name Cyclos? I do believe he's been spotted around here. Oh, the sea holds such mysteries. That's what makes it so alluring. Yeah, right. Giant frogs. Exactly what I'm into, you know. Anyway, we need to go and talk to Oshas. We were able to get a gem of power from him since we completed the Wind Temple. Or the Temple of Winds, whatever they want to call it. What does this sign actually say? I don't think I've read it before. To the port. That's not very helpful at all, is it? I wasn't trying to cut the sh... Not the shield. <laughs> cut the shield. Cut the sign. But whatever. Hi, Milkshake. Welcome to the live stream. Okay, so if we talk to Oshas, we will be able to get a gem of power. You can never miss this gem of power, but if you do take too long to get it, you won't be able to get it by talking to him, you'll instead get it mailed to you. So, yeah, anyway. He has given us the power gem. These can, br these can bring out the full power of the spirits. There are 20 spirit gems for each of the spirits scattered far and wide. Find as many as you can, and that will make you strong. Yeah, fair enough. Now, one thing with the spirits that I had forgotten about was the fact that you need to go to an uncharted island to actually infuse the gems into the spirit itself because I remembered that you were able to do that you were able to take those gems and power up the spirits with those gems but I couldn't remember how to do that what you do need to do is actually go to an island it's very much like a fairy fountain but the obviously the phantom hourglass equivalent to a fairy fountain and so, yeah, that's the situation. And I know where that is. It's actually south of Molitor Island, and I will be going to Molitor Island as well. I'm tempted to do all of this that's in my mind right now before actually taking on the Temple of the Ocean King. We will see how much time it takes for me to do all of this. If it actually has taken up most of the video, I won't go and take on the Temple of the Ocean King because I don't want to have this video run for too long. So, what we need to do next is actually go through the Temple of the Ocean King normally to get to the third floor going down. Because in that, on that third floor rather, there is actually a thing. And to be more specific, it is a chest with a gem of power inside. So we can use this shortcut. I forgot to do this last time I came through here. We can just step on that right there, go and get the key and go straight out. We don't have to mess around with the rest of this place because, of course, this was the first place, or the first floor of the Temple of the Ocean King um, that we entered through. So, of course, we didn't have bombs at that time. But now that we do have bombs, we can use this shortcut. Super Milkshake says, drinking whiskey and playing Dark Souls 2 New Game Plus 7, Thief Dagger only. Well, there you go. That sounds like fun. It's always uh, a good thing to challenge yourself a little bit more with souls by having a good drink. Certainly, if you find souls to be too easy, give that a try. Sort of like adds a little bit of hard mode because you respond to everything a little bit slower. But I can mostly play souls fine while drinking because my souls skills are so deeply rooted that actually I can still call upon those skills relatively easily in spite of any sort of intoxication. Okay. Let's go and get that key. Once again, using the bombs to great effect. The garbage truck is out in the street, so I do apologize if you can hear any distant rumbling. It's funny because you might not actually be able to identify what it is, but once you hear it, you won't be able to unhear it. There is a distant rumbling that will be picked up in the microphone. 
and it's really weird because I was actually listening to a recording of mine today where that happened and I literally thought the garbage truck was outside and then I'd take off my headphones and I couldn't hear it and then I put the headphones back on and I can hear it it was really weird but anyway so what we're going to do actually bleed isn't a big deal for me um milkshake because I don't have the sound coming out of the gamepad or anything like that unless you're saying you can hear a lot of bleed if so let me know and I will pretty much mute the television that's the last thing that I really want um, but anyway what we're going to do here if I can remember okay I think we pull this here that's right and um, yes so once we get to this higher point we will be able to shoot an eye with our bow and get the 10th gem of power oh okay yeah right just randomly talking about dark Souls 2 i thought you meant uh, audio bleed never mind um okay we have a timed chest that has appeared i'm going to walk into it so that i get an invulnerability period get it quick you fucking asshole i literally tapped it the very moment the goddamn thing. I'll eat my ass. I hate you all. I hate you all. There is no reason why I had to miss that fucking chest. I literally tapped it the moment it disappeared. It's fucking ridiculous. Can you leave me alone? Okay, he has actually stopped seeing me, which is good. Fucking hell. Okay, so we should be able to jump out the side here. Of course, if we do get seen, we can't actually pass through this area. You've got a power gem. Yes, that is what I wanted. Now, is there a quick way out of here? Don't think so. Well, look, maybe I can just... No, I'm not doing that shit. Yeah, hit me, whatever, I don't care. It doesn't send me to the beginning, but anyway. Why do you keep speaking this language, Altomar? I don't fucking speak it, I'm sorry. Like, I've got nothing wrong with people speaking other languages, but for God's sake, I clearly don't understand it. It's bizarre that you would come in here multiple times and start speaking this thing. I don't understand it. Anyway, so... We are returning to the uh, the beginning of the Temple of the Ocean King. And we will still have that portal that will take us to where we had left off in the previous video. There it is right there. But And the reason why it's still there is because it takes us to a completely different section of the Temple of the Ocean King. It's like a halfway point. So, <laughs> good one, Milkshake. Speak a completely different language. We'll all speak our own languages. How about that? Um, now, where are we going? Okay, so now that we have the 20, not 20. 20 is the maximum number that you can collect of all of these. Um, we currently have 10, which is half of that, obviously. And we will take those 10 power gems over to... The island that I was talking about before, the Spirit Island, as it's called. And again, it is just south of Molodar Island, actually. No idea how long all of this is going to take, because I was also wanting to do a mini game on Molodar Island, which is now available to me now that I do have the bow unlocked. So, anyway. Oh, what? You want to go out to sea? Go now. Then climb aboard. The open sea calls, I think he said. Anyway. Here we go. So, we will draw our way. Actually, what I will do is I will check Beetle Shop Ship. I don't know if he has anything new. I probably checked before, but I have since forgotten, so you will have to forgive me for that. I'm just going to go get my keyboard off my lap, because that's annoying. <sighs> okay. So, I don't think Beetle is going to sell anything interesting. It's the masked salesman that I really want stuff from, but who knows? Maybe Beetle has something interesting as well. You never know. Want to board this ship, Link? Yes, I do. Quite. Um, we've got a ship part, and we have a pearl necklace. Excuse me for belching, by the way. Um, I do think that this is different to what I've seen before. I'm quite positive, actually. What's this ship part? Ooh, it's the golden ship. Well, <laughs> that's going to be a very endgame sort of ship, because, to be honest, that is way too expensive. That is 7,000 rupees for one piece of a ship unbelievable so we are obviously not going to be getting that just yet white pearl loop this price is crazy you know what's even crazier the fact that you're fucking selling it to me because i don't i'm not going to get anything out of a bloody pearl loop so this bomb bag i really don't need it 
Maybe at some point I will need it. Maybe I will never need it. I will get it at some point, but anyway. Um, it's technically emulation milkshake, but it's also not. This is being recorded on the Wii U. So it's not PC, em PC emulation, but it is... Um, let's go to the Traveler ship, why not? It's not PC. Can you fucking shut up? My god. But yeah, this is not PC emulation. Basically is what I'm trying to say. I'm recording the Wii U, which is a lot better because I can actually use a stylus to play the game. And yeah. Enemy sighted. Time to die. If I could actually aim it correctly. This demon ship really does outline very clearly how off color my color settings are but if i were to put it at neutral you would see that it's also fucked up and i really don't have a fucking solution for it to be honest with you so yeah like if i were to set the colors to neutral i it just wouldn't help like i will do that right now let me do that i will set them to reset defaults let's have a look okay what's going on Aha, Linebeck sighting. Maybe it will be better, let me just see. No, it's not better, I can see it already, it's terrible. I understand the game looks darker, I'll fix that in a moment. I'm gonna scuttle you for good, don't you dare run. Okay, whatever you say. Sorry that the game's really dark, by the way. Um, I don't know what's going on. Am I supposed to be shooting her? Yeah, I'm supposed to be shooting her. Bah, ambush. Well, I'm not really gonna try to delay the inev inevitable... But you can see these are actually default color settings right now, and it looks disgusting. It's actually fucked. So, yeah, the best thing to do is drop the hue by 10. That improves it a little bit. Increase the brightness. And then... A little bit of contrast, I think it was. Yeah. So that's fine. Like, that looks a lot better. But regardless... So as you can see, uh, I forgot her name, it's like Jolina or something like that. You again. Little boy in green. Any chance you might tell me where Linebeck is? Mm, I didn't think so. Well, I suppose that means I'll have to deal with the two of you in order. And I will start with you. Prepare for punishment. I can't remember how to fight her, to be honest. I think we just need to let her do her attack. The big attack where she yells a bit. And then we hit her after that because she it's a very uh, large vulnerability period for her. Okay, can you get over here, you person? With that attack, please, with that attack. Not that attack. The one, this one, that's exactly what I want. Oh, and now we need to do this, and once we've done that... It's funny how she actually loses against a child when it comes to a show of strength, but anyway. Not again. I have one last thing to say. Ah. Remember this day, and remember it well, hear me? I don't think we get anything out of that, even. Which is terrible, but anyway. I guess I'll get what I want through these barrels. I guess you can use arrows, which I haven't tried before, but I can imagine them being effective. Okay, what's going on? Phew. Say what you will about that girl. She knows how to imitate a pirate. Lineback, professional crate inspector. Kind of catchy, don't you think? Here's a tip for giving that crazy girl the heave-ho for me, Link. Oh, right, I see. So, I get 20 rupees for that shit. What a waste of my time. Anyway. So, again, the colours. Pretty bad. Nothing I can do about them. Maybe I want to add hue. What if I add hue? I mean, I'm pretty sure that's not what I want to do, but... We can try. We'll add hue. How does that look? Oh. Is that actually better? Hold on. Hold the phone. I think adding hue is better. How did I think that it was worse? This is insane, guys. I actually... Adding hue is better. Is that too much hue? Yeah, that's kind of... Yeah, that's too much. So, alright. I think we fucking fixed the problem. I was taking away hue when I should have been adding it. But it seemed like it was helping in with certain colours, and then with others it just didn't help at all. And there's a long explanation as to what I mean with that, but yeah, this seems to be an improvement. There we go. Everything's looking like like it should, almost. The the water is not quite... Let me add hue. Okay, that's getting purple. We don't want it to be purple, but... 
See, the water, I have a comparison between the actual game that you're seeing and my gamepad. It's completely different. But at least it's an improvement over what it was before. What about, hold on, contrast. Do we want contrast? Um, what if we drop contrast? I don't know. Let's just put contrast at 5, and I apologise for having to do this while I'm recording, guys. I really do, but it's live. This is just what happens. I think we're going to leave it at this. It's an improvement as far as I'm concerned. I mean, the water is not that blue, but it, ugh, what can I do? Uh, we will go to the traveller's ship. Why not? Is this really an improvement? It's funny because it improves the red, but it makes the... Huh, maybe I can actually do this colour by colour. I didn't even consider this. Hold on, guys. I do need to stop because I've dropped my stylus. I do need to actually try... Oh, there's a fucking frog. I want to get that frog. I fucking got it! Oh my god. I've been waiting for this. Oof, you got me. Nice shot, but why did you have to shoot me like that? See you around the pond. What do I get for doing that? God, I've, I've spent so much time trying to hit that fucking frog. And it really didn't help me at all. Like, he didn't give me anything. It's terrible. Okay, so what we're going to do... I thought that I was able to edit this colour by colour. I used to be able to, but... They're not really letting me here. This is really annoying, to be honest with you. Um, because I can see that it's not... Quite right. So if I drop you... Yeah, if I take you away, it's better for the blue. And then if I... Add it, it's worse for the blue. Oh, can we stop this fucking octopus? Hold on. Did it leave? Yes, it did. It hit me once and then it went somewhere else. That's fine. Uh, color by color. I can't really... Are you appearing again for real? Get out of here. God damn it. So yeah, this video is probably going to end up being long enough on its own without me returning to the Temple of the Ocean King, which is fine. I really don't like that place, so I'm more than happy to... Uh, to not, uh, why am I recording at 7.20? For the love of God, I hate this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what it's like when you're recording live sometimes. It seems that this freaking octopus is just going to keep appearing over and over and over again until I finally keep moving. But yes, it does appear that I cannot edit the colours colour by colour, which is bizarre because basically when you're in OBS and you bring up your video editing options, it opens the Elgato Capture application in a side window but it looks different to how it would look if you were to do it in the actual application itself unrelated to OBS and not only does it look different it also gives you less options and I don't fucking understand that because it's clearly part of the Elgato game capture software and yet they just straight up give you less options I just don't understand it anyway I really don't have a fucking solution for these colours, because basically, and I knew this was the case, messing around with the hue and everything else can be better for certain colours, and then it's worse for others, so, yeah. In terms of that Uncharted Island, I think, is that it over, yeah, that must have been it over there. Let's go and see what's in this traveller ship. Oh, this guy is in a bad situation, let's help him out. Go and hit these things. You know, I really don't like these, um, whatever they're called, mermen. Not the little guys, the big guys, because they're a little bit, they're a bit of trouble to actually kill. You have to waste your time with the frickin' boomerang. And I also don't understand why they just stand there and look at you for the whole time. It's good that they do that, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to kill them, to be honest, but it's still kind of dumb in terms of a combat situation. Alrighty, so we've talked to this guy before, he's probably not going to give us anything for doing that, but whatever. Hello. Oh no, oh golly, I must have overslept. Oh yeah, I've been feeling pretty generous, okay. I've been picking things up for you. Here, I got this nice piece of flotsam. More to come, be ready. Okay, well that was very nice of you. One more, Jesus. One more! You got the Zora scale. Oh, I don't have any more. Well, that's fine. I wasn't bloody expect expecting that, so thank you. Anyway. I'm going to go steal everything else you have. Well, maybe he literally doesn't have anything else. Yeah, he is literally going to be eating Zora scales to survive. By the looks of it. But yeah, this guy does seem to run into trouble quite often, so... Not much I can do about that. 
Okay, so let's go and head to this Uncharted Island. I don't know exactly where it is. I'm just going to sort of point myself in the direction of it, vaguely. Is that... Okay, so that must be the island over there, yeah. Once we get close enough to it, then Linebeck has a look at it and says, Look there! That island isn't marked on our charts, Link, and it looks like we can dock there. There, I've just added the isle to your chart. So we're going to go ahead there, of course. Let's go and... Plot a course to question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Oh, can you stop? Why does it attack so quickly? It does not give me a chance to hit it at all, really. Spirit Island. Here we go. Now, I do have some cicadas outside, so you are going to have to forgive me for them and the fact that they're ruining the fucking video, but anyway. It's just one thing after another, isn't it? If it's not the audio, it's the video, and if it's not the video, it's the audio. It's the best thing since sliced bread, isn't it? Anyway. <clears throat> now, let's head in here. I guess we'll... I do love how the torches light up when you walk past them. That's pretty cool. Ten spirit gems will give you great power to a spirit. Twenty spirit gems are required for a spirit to fully realize its power. I don't remember what that really does, but anyway. Link, I am the servant to the goddess of spirits that dwells in this spring. I have been awaiting your arrival. The spirits have traveled with you, have not recovered their true strength. To restore their power, you must find spirit gems scattered around the world. Then you must bring them here. Power gems for the spirit of power. Wisdom gems for the spirit of wisdom. Courage gems for the spirit of courage. Wow, that was pretty uh, pretty exciting, wasn't it? Collect these and the spirits will recover their true power. Then they will be of even greater assistance to you in your quest. Which spirits, spirit gems do you want to present? I will present power. There we go. So far you have located 10 power gems. With this many spirit gems, more of your spirit of power's true ability will be unleashed. Come forth, spirit of power. Using the spirit gems this boy has collected, search yourself for the true extent of your spirit power. The name of this spirit is Leaf, by the way. No alternate spelling, literally L-E-A-F. The spirit of power has been powered up. Your sword now burns with flames. Swap spirits on the collection screen. May the divine protection of the spirits be with you everywhere you venture. Ah, so I believe you can now swap between your spirits. But can other spirits take care of you like I do? I guess you won't know until you try. Open the collection screen and see. Well, I do like Ciela, but to be honest, I do want a flaming sword, so let's go do that. We can select the spirits like this. Interesting, you can't actually select Ciela now that... Oh, I can select. I understand. We can either select or unselect, but we can't go and select Ciela yet. Because she is our default. So now you can see that the Spirit of Power is our pointer fairy, which is pretty cool. And if we attack with our sword, it is a flaming fucking sword, which I do find pretty cool. So, I wish that it actually um, caused the grass to light on fire, but or the bushes, the shrubbery, however you want to refer to that. But it really does not, unfortunately. So yeah, what we're going to do is do that minigame on Molitor Island, and then at that point, yeah, look at these fucking colours, I have to say. I'm actually going to drop the... I'm going to make it so that the reds look like shit, because as far as I'm concerned, that is less um, noticeable. Um, you see, I'm messing around with it a lot here, but uh, we're going to go to minus 15. It's not as good for the blues, but I don't give a shit right now. Let's go to Molotov. Actually, no, it's better for the blues, sorry. It's not as good for the reds. Ugh, look, I'm not too familiar with how hue works, you have to understand. So again, we are returning to Molitor Island so that we can go ahead and get that... Uh... Actually, I haven't even explained it. I was meaning to explain it, but I didn't. So we can actually do that minigame on Molitor Island that I'm referring to to get a heart container if we get a score of 2,000. No, I don't want your valuable information. Okay, fine. Okay, I will go and see your value valuable information. Boing, boing. You want some valuable information? There is a tiny island isle in the middle of the three boulders south of this island. Okay, well, that's just lovely. So, I don't know where the minigame is. I think we need to go to... We'll just go into all the buildings. We'll be fine. We'll work out where it is, I think. Oh, dear. We need to go up here. I think. I think it's in that guy's house. Yeah, it is. He set up a minigame in here. 
This guy with a big ass nose. Hey kid, when pursuing your dreams, what's the first step? I've decided to follow in my dad's footsteps and go the way of the adventurer. But it seems like my own first step is to make money for the trip. So, on that note, this is the shooting range. You can play if you have a bow and an arrow. It's 20 rupees per game. Want to play? Yes, I do. Okay, want to hear the rules? Yes. You'll have 70 seconds to hit the target with unlimited arrows. Ghosts are 10 points. Hit them consecutively for up to 50 bonus points. But if you shoot a girl target, you'll lose 50 points, so be careful. Oh, look out. Here we go, then. Take your mark. Okay, I haven't done this in a while, and god damn it, I probably need, the, need it to be... Oh, this is not going to be good at all. This is really... Okay, this is terrible. This needs to stop. Uh, we need to instead have the... Here we go. Screen settings. I do understand the cropping is not quite right for this, so you're just going to have to forgive me. But um, if we do this, what is the cropping like? I think the cropping should be fine. Yeah, the cropping's... Uh, is it fine? No, it's not quite fine, is it? Okay, so what we will do... You'll have to forgive me for this, but it is a requirement for this minigame for the screen at the top to literally be at the top because otherwise it just it's going to be really disorienting here we go continue I'm going to fail this because I got a bad start but at least it'll be a good warm up now can we see if it's a girl target before it turns I don't know So if we keep hitting these ghosts consecutively, I think we get a larger and larger multiplier each time. Possibly. I think that's what the guy was saying. Damn it, get the freaking thing. Get it, asshole. We've got unlimited arrows, so I think we can shoot as many as we want. We don't really need to worry about. Oh, fuck me dead. So there was a girl target there, that's alright. Just gonna try and focus on not hitting the girl. We do need a target of, or rather, we do need a. Our target score is two thousand, which is difficult. I have heard, so, or I have read rather. The girl targets or the human targets are few and far between. Look at that, eight hundred and fifty out of two thousand. That's pretty bad. Eight hundred and fifty points. Hmm. If you beat the highest score, I'll give you a special gift. Yeah, radio. So let's talk to him again and see what's going on. Let's see if we can actually successfully do this. What I hate more than anything else is the slow start of this minigame. It's actually pretty annoying. You have to wait for the targets to come individually. Maybe the faster you hit them, the faster we can get this first part done. I really don't know. I'll try hitting it before it turns or not. Yeah, I have no idea if that has an influence on how fast they appear. I'm trying to hit it before it turns. I don't know if it's possible. No, I don't think it is possible. You can time it so that the target turns just as your arrow makes contact with it, though. That is possible. I need to get those without hitting the girl, of course. I will be trying a lot harder this time than I was before. And I'm also getting the hang of it a little bit better. Sort of need to get in the groove, you know. Shit, fuck. Damn it, I missed one. I think if you do miss... Let's say that if I miss three, I'm going to be in the shit. Are you kidding? This is insanity. How am I... Oh, whoops, I fucked that up pretty hard. How am I supposed to get 2,000? This is... This is insane. Oh my god. I'm really not feeling good about this. I'll try this a little bit more and then I think we'll... Uh... Well, not even a little bit more. I'm going to do one more. And then I think that's it because I don't want to hear the rules. Shut up. Okay. We're going to try one more time and then that's it. Because I think it's a bit of a tall order to suggest that I get 2,000. Come on. 2,000? What the fuck? I really don't understand um, how that's going to work, but... Whatever. Here we go. 
Once again, wish there wasn't such a slow start at the beginning. Yeah, you really cannot hit the targets until their turn. Let's just try and get every single target. Because if we don't get every single target... Oh, shit. Well, I guess now I fucked it up, haven't I? Yeah, we're going to fail this. No fucking... No chance we're going to succeed in this one. But that's all right. I will try my best even having said that. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. It is a lot harder than it looks, guys. I'm going to be completely honest with you with that one. Look at that. I couldn't even get a 1,000. Couldn't even get half of what I needed. It's incredible. Like, I don't know how you're supposed to get 2,000. That's that's just unbelievable. If you beat the high score, I'll give you a special gift. Well, I'll give you a fucking smack across the head, you stupid asshole. It's just unbelievable. I, I There's no way in hell I'm going to be able to manage that. Anyway, um, of course, you can see... This is what the game looks like uncropped, by the way. So I'm going to go and crop it again, if you don't mind. So, oh, that is not... Um, that is not good. Why is it cropped like that? Have I chosen the wrong screen thing? Are you fucking telling me that it changes every time? Have I chosen the wrong one? Um, no, I haven't. This is literally... Oh, no! Now, I don't know what causes this, but it seems that it's not consistent. Why is it not consistent? How could it possibly be that it's now changed? I've used the same screen setting in the uh, in the game, and yet my preset crop now is no longer correct. What the fuck is going on? That is so annoying. Oh my god. This has been a very frustrating recording, guys, where everything has just not really gone right. I suppose part of it is the fact that I've been trying to get things right, and maybe some people wouldn't bother going that far, but for fuck's sake, like, I just can't believe it. Um, again, this is the my preset crop. For some reason, it's doing this, even though I have selected the correct screen setting in the game. No idea what is causing that. But, um, whatever. This will probably be it for this recording, guys. Of course, it will be correct in the next video. And in the next video, you will see me starting at the Temple of the Ocean King. I'm not going to take the journey there on camera because it's not really necessary for me to do so. I was thinking of doing that just to finish up this video so that we could get to about 40 minutes, but yeah, that's not happening because my crop is no longer working for literally no reason. So yeah, again, when you're live, you can't really make changes like that. If it were not live, I could literally just make an edit instantaneously and I'll be back with the correct cropping settings, but that's not how that is when it's live. So beautiful. I thank you all for watching. This has been Let's Play The Legend of Zelda. I was about to say Majora's Mask. No, it is uh, Phantom Hourglass. And it is the 18th of March 2020 as I'm recording this. I'll see you guys in part 21 where we will once again continue through the Temple of the Ocean King location. And then I think we get a sea chart and then we can continue to the next location in the game where we do take on a temple. And then ultimately take on a boss and get the first noble metal. But anyway, I'll see you guys when I return. Bye bye.